Okay, we're back. Welcome to my political life video blog. And guess what? According to Blaze.com, you might think it's so smart about Ann Coulter. You know, I, I just <laughs> I talked to Ann Carter, Coulter last Thursday, or should I say last Wednesday and Thursday on on the Hallmark <gasps> Channel for all new primetime news. Last Thursday, last Wednesday and Thursday when I come back from Easter vacation. And so is uh, last Saturday's it's the LH Music Time, the, the, the television show, and uh, <laughs> right here on Fox, about this, uh, you know who, unlikely ally in, in this powerful liberal but politician. After this, Berkeley canceled her, yeah, silly speech. Yeah, her, her speech. Well, guess what? Here's why. Ann Coulter. Yeah, I know, she's a conservative like us. Fine. Found, it being found unlikely ally in the yeah Bernie Sanders over the weekend and when it's self-described democratic no good for other eagle mind socialist because it defends Coulter's right to speak on college campuses oh really huh well guess what whatever what is the last time that the University of Berkeley California was cancelled an event when Ann Coulter was wants to being scheduled to speak because it has something something has that concerns well the u.s officials try to fear that culture spreads presence on campus will incite another round of protest and what kind of and you know what's it's similar to what happens next according to cnn the liberal just like milo wants to speak and then all all of a sudden liberal all of a sudden that no confidential liberal liberal uh, you know anti-trump liberal snowflake smurfs uh, you know why because it's um it doesn't even make sense for throwing rocks and you know, all that stuff rocks breaking glasses at glass and all kinds of stuff and and you know why? Because it uh, makes perfect. I don't know. It's just it's just ridiculous. But as I said on my television show, uh, on um, you know, as I said on my television show last Saturday night on Fox, because 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 you know what? It's silencing the right. I cannot believe my eyes and ears. Why? Why? Because as I said to you, no good for nothing, anti-Trump, liberal, protest, snowflake, s yeah, snowflake, smurfs, to do something very stupid like this. Because, you know, it, you know, you're throwing rocks like this. But something happens between the, between the school and the city I have become accustomed to recent, re recent months. Now, here is the university official says of this. Given current active security threats, it is not possible to assure that the event could be held successfully. Or is that the safe safety of Miss Coulter? The event sponsors audience and should we say by standards to be uh, uh, acquitted it? protected at any of the campus venues. Well, guess what? Sanders, yeah, burn, yeah, feel the burn. San <laughs> Bernie Sanders doesn't even believe that what happens to culture is right. Well, guess what? The former president, president candidate says that culture should be allowed to speak on campus without fearing of, you guessed it, Violence or in, in, imitation? Uh, uh, yeah, right, Bernie Sanders. You want to feel the burn? You want to destroy culture, huh? I don't even think so. And according to Huffington, Huffington Post website says that uh, over the weekend says I don't like this. I don't like. I don't. I don't like it. You talk about this and that. Well, let's call the whole thing off. Shall we? You mean this and that? Let's go the whole thing off. 
Well, guess what? Everybody knows they're asking about this whole situation. Well, on Ann Coulter, yeah. Here's, here's my two cents for you. Here's my two cents for you, because here's why. Obviously, Ann Coulter's outrageous to everybody's mind is being off the wall. But you, but you know people have the right to get, uh, uh, you wish, you wish, Bernie Sanders, you ex explain to this one. Prove me wrong, because in recent years, those students and most liberal and progressive pro progressive people like you, in their own politics and worldview, have been organized and uh, forced to protest us conservative speakers. Speakers like, um, you, know, you know who, Milo, and so is Coulter, the rest of us conservative speakers try to claim their hate speech shouldn't be allowed on campus. Of course, well guess what, the hate speech, they refer to it, to it. It's being hard, hardly and hateful. And what about this one? And more than, more often than not just an idea or opinion that the students will disagree. But guess what? Who wants to disagree with this? Because the students have been determined to take whatever steps is necessarily to step down speakers they disagree with and whom they've been deemed bringing the hate uh -oh, to their campus. And that's, that's why it's all, yeah, it's all in the name of silencing fascism. Fascist. Well, what's the fascism is this? Well, guess what? The students claim about this one. Let me put this right for you. I have words of wisdom for you and you might think you're so smart about this one. Uh, one and I <laughs> because you might think it's so smart about anyone anyone Bernie Sanders disagree yeah yeah he told the Huffington Puffington Post that it's just a sign of the students and intellectual heavyweights and you might think it's so smart about to me it's a sign of intellectual weak intellectual weakness and if you can't Ask Ann Coulter. If you can't ask, ask Ann Coulter in a polite way. Questions? Guess what? Will expose the weakness of her arguments. If you, if all you can do is, oh uh, boy, you cannot do that. No, no, no. As I said to you, anti Trump protesting snowflake smurf buffoons out there mm, uh, 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 out there if you're just watching my show last Saturday night on Fox uh, uh, yeah guess what you cannot boo like that well how about this one for a change Bill Maher slams the door on the university uh, on university yeah Bill Maher slams the door. Oh my God! Bill Maher finally sees sees the light on University, you know, on U University of Berkeley. Says this. You finally, you finally see the light. <laughs> light. It's about time, Bill Maher. You you will listen. You slam the door on University of Berkeley, California students on your show, real time, real time on HBO last Friday night. And it labels, you said an F word. Watch your language, please. For, for God's sake, please. Watch your language. Because, because, is, uh, don't you think it's gone too far at a time like this? You might think it's got to stop? Yeah, we just, uh, thank you, Bill Maher. You finally see the light, but next time watch your darn language. So, my final, so here's the bottom line. What if the university officials have have rescheduled on that culture speech on May 2nd, just before graduation starts? After after this, when when a, when students taking their history tests and all that will be deepened in the books for study for exams. Guess what? 
when Ann Coulter talks, people listen. And you know why? However, it's assisting on giving her, yeah, speech this Thursday. You know why? Because it originally, it originally schedules the day. The day. And the morals, you know what I'm talking about. The moral story, uh, the, you know, oh yeah. The moral of my political life video, video blog story is this, from Ann Coulter. Quote this on her Twitter account. I'm speaking at Berkeley on April 27th, as I was invited to do, and I, and, and, and have a contract to do. Good thought, Ann Coulter. Bernie Sanders, you're wrong. You're dead wrong. Wrong. That will teach you a lesson, anti-Trump protester, snowflake, buffoon, buffoon smurfs. Not to mess with Ann Coulter ever again. If you do this again, you know what you know what's up. Trash you first. Trash all of you first. You know good for nothing anti Trump protesting snowflake smurf buffoons. What else can I say? <laughs> Anyways, that's my um, political life video, the video blog story, and I'm sticking to it. Now hit the road, you no good for nothing anti Smurf. Yeah, I don't. I mean, anti Trump protesting snowflake Smurf buffoons. Don't come back. Scram. Smell time you saw the light, Bill Moore.